Hey everybody, you know who this is. Uh, I'm just giving you an update. Uh, a couple of things going on. I have noticed a lot of my videos are deleted from this particular platform. I don't even want to say the name, but also I've noticed uh, on my actual computer, certain videos have disappeared too and certain files. I'm like, wait a minute. I know I copied that video, you know, and I kept, well, I kept a copy and then I look on my computer and it's gone. I was like, wow. Uh, let me tell you a little story. When I first came to the Lord, uh, baby, baby Christian in 1990 or so, I uh, was getting booklets and cassette tapes. Yeah, cassette tapes, right? Uh, from a church that was considered, uh, they, they thought, they believed that the Christians were God's chosen people. And who am I to disagree? And um, they also taught who the enemy was. And uh, whereas most of the churches teach the those that don't believe and actually deny Jesus is the Christ, uh, they teach that they are the chosen. But I disagree, but hey, what do I know? But I was getting, in the mail, booklets and cassette tapes from them. Sermons, you know, Bible studies and what have you. Well, guess what? They were getting opened. And my mail was being opened. And I called this church and says, uh, hey, did you guys open this and repack it? Or, you know, oh, no, we don't do that. And uh, they, they said, oh, yeah, they, they open our material all the time. You know, so, yeah, they were actually having to go to different post offices in different towns near them um, to try to avoid all that crazy stuff. But, I mean, really? Then I had what was called a landline. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but before they had cell phones, cell cellular phones, um, all the telephones were connected by a wire to telephone poles. Part of the AT&T um, Bell Network. And my phone would uh, do about a quarter ring. Go ping. Just a quarter ring. Like, you know, the phone would ring. Actually, had a, a bell, a ringer. And uh, I'd pick it up. There's Nobody on the line, no answer. And I talked to a guy that worked for uh, Bell South, Southern Bell, whatever they call it nowadays. And uh, he said, oh, yeah. He says, uh, that means your phone line's tapped. I was like, oh. He was like a supervisor. So I started taking a cassette player and playing the Bible right next to the phone so that they could listen in on it. From what I understand, they could listen in, even though the phone was uh, what they called on the hook, they could listen in. It, it acted like a, a speaker. So they could actually listen to whatever people were saying. Of course, they could do that now with these uh, LED light bulbs, from what I understand. So, you know, they've been watching and listening for a long, long time. But, um, you know, you got video cameras on your computer. You've got audio in your computers. Um, you've got audio in your smart TVs, right? Are they, um, and there's probably cameras too, are they actually listening and watching what you do in front of the TV? Are you watching the TV or is the TV watching you? 
You got a TV in your bedroom? Are they watching a free uh, show when um, you and your spouse are having uh, marital relations? Hmm. Yeah, makes you wonder. You know, there's a reason why they have these smart meters. So they could actually, with a few buttons, turn off anybody's power. But also, from what I understand, they can use the LED lights. Uh, they are they have a speaker effect or a microphone effect, and they can actually listen to what you're saying in your house. You know, there's a reason why they got rid of uh, what they call incandescent bulbs. And they're going to these LEDs. Um, and if you don't believe me, I went to TEDx, T-E-D-X. Uh, it's a new technology platform where they talk about stuff. You know, they've had uh, Gates, you know, the guy that's named Bill. Um, he was talking about some stuff. But they were talking about how LED lights can be used as microphones. So they're listening to what if you got an LED in the house, they're listening. Or they can. You know, there's a reason why they got these smart meters now. Uh, the old analog meters, I understand that it wouldn't work. But then again, I'm not an electrical engineer. You know, so talk about surveillance. But um, there was a guy that put out a video about how his, he, he looked, um, when you got a Google account, a Gmail account, um, you could look at it. And there's a way you can look into the uh, when's the last time, the last few times it's been logged into from where. And he found that there was a certain country in the Middle East uh, that had logged into his account from, you know, a certain city over there. And he's like, whoa. So he did a video on that. And after he did that, um, video, I looked at my, I logged into my uh, settings and found out that I also had a login from a certain country in the Middle East on my Gmail account. I thought, wow, that's interesting. So then shortly after that video came out, um, I guess they deleted that, that feature that showed from where people were logging in from from that particular place and uh, I mean I could see where I logged in but I couldn't see anywhere else so I don't know I was uh, on my Proton Mail which brags oh we're in Switzerland and freedom of this and freedom of that oh bull um, somebody logged into my well oh, let me let me clarify I logged into my ProtonMail account, chaplainbob at protonmail.com, and I noticed there was a brand new email that I had never seen before, and it showed it, it was marked as having been read. Somebody had opened it, but it wasn't me. I thought, wow, that's incredible, huh? So somebody read this email, and I guess they forgot to mark it as unread so it would look new. But I've noticed on my computer a lot of videos and audios are gone. I mean, I back up everything now, but can you imagine that? I mean, and it's always about a certain subject. Uh, I don't even want to say the word, but I, I think uh, my days on this platform are over. I really do. Because I've had so many videos deleted and I've gotten um, suspensions for things that are incredibly for nothing. I mean, I've, I've had things deleted for uh, medical reasons when the video was Nothing about medical. So, uh, I don't know. But if I get another one, you know, fairly recent, I will lose this account. And I want to keep it up as long as possible. 
So, you know, if you write an email, make sure it's about Jesus and uh, your conversations online about all that as much as possible, I suppose. Because things are going to get real. You know, almost, uh, well, let me tell you a little story. There's a guy called Kent Hovind. Some of you probably heard of him. He made evolution look so stupid, which it is, you know. And they put him in prison, federal prison, for over nine years because uh, they wanted to shut him up and discredit him. Because I'm sure he brought a number of people to the Lord. Well, he got out of prison. His wife even went to jail for, a, I don't know, about a year. Jail or prison, I don't know. Uh, generally, jail is under a year and prison is over a year. I don't know exactly how much time she spent, but it was around a year. Well, after she got out of confinement, um, she ended up, well, when, when her husband got out of prison, uh, she wanted nothing to do with him. His own son tried to steal his ministry. I mean, there's not many people that have suffered more for Christ that I know of than him. And when he was in prison, well, let me, let me go a little something here. I admired him because I learned a lot from him when I was a baby believer uh, from Kent. And I always thought, how could this guy know so much about the Bible and all this other stuff and believe in the pre trib rapture, which is a lie. Well, guess what he found out after spending nine years in prison? He had a lot of time to study the Bible. He couldn't find the pre trib rapture anywhere and said, this must be a fake doctrine. So... All the Baptist churches that used to love Kent Hovind, because he used to fill their churches on a Sunday. Oh, we're having Kent Hovind speak this Sunday, and their, their pews would be packed. Standing room only. Pass that collection plate around. Pastors loved him. Until he decided the pre-trib rapture was a, a false doctrine. Then all of a sudden, these Baptist preachers didn't want anything to do with Kent Hovind. It turns out that uh, if you don't believe in the pre-trib rapture, you're not even saved, according to the Baptists. Um, you know, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and the pre and the pre-trib rapture, and thou shalt be saved. Is their uh, mantra? I guess you could say. Huh. Bunch of liars and heretics. Did Jesus say believing in the pre trib rapture was a, an essential doctrine for faith? No. But they want nothing to do with him anymore. They gave him the right foot of uh, kicking him out of the, their building disfellowship. The right foot of disfellowship. Yeah. So, personally... I know what the Bible says about false prophets. And every single preacher that teaches the preacher of rapture as 100% uh, 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 true is going to be found a false prophet. And the Bible does not say anything good about false prophets. I wonder how many of those people the Lord's going to say, I never knew you. Depart from ye that work iniquity. I don't know. And it's not my place to judge. I've done some pretty horrible things in my life. And, um, you know, I'm surprised the Lord would even want somebody like me. I mean, really, I can't figure it out. But, you know, that's why I've spent the last number of years trying to warn people. Because some people spent their time trying to warn me. But uh, the thing is, 
Uh, don't be surprised that when things go bad, because our country is under judgment. I mean, let's face it. Just look at 50 years ago, things that are legal now would have been unheard of 50 years ago. And I don't even want to mention what they are. Um, because I, I want to keep my channel up as, as long as possible. I want people to be able to learn why the pre trib rapture is a lie. And so I'm not going to be posting anything new to this platform. I mean, I'm on BitChute, which is garbage. I post stuff on Gab every once in a while, which is garbage. It's G-A-R-B-A-G-E, garbage. So I'm also on Odyssey and I'm also on Rumble. But, you know, I used to have 15,000 subscribers on this platform. And then one day I had less than 5,000. And just recently, somebody wrote me and said, um, hey, Bob, uh, you were unsubscribed from my feed. He says, I go to your channel and he says, I can show I'm subscribed. But he says, when I go to, you know, when I leave your channel, uh, you know, when you post things, it doesn't show up in my feed. I'm like, yeah, that happens. That's been happening for years. But seriously, I lost 10,000 subs in one night or one day or I don't know. So, you know, and I was, I had a month suspension recently for uh, not even saying a word, just the first letter of that word. Uh, let you know it's it's three letters, the word. And uh, yeah, so they're watching my channel and Lord must be keeping my channel up because I'm shocked it's it hasn't been deleted. So what they're probably doing is they're probably watching who's coming to my channel, but you know, all these people that go to these so-called churches that teach things like the pre-trib rapture. Now, why would they teach a false doctrine like that? Well, it's real simple. When they find out that they have to die for their faith, like millions before them, like Stephen, like the apostles, do you know out of the, um, uh, minus Judas Iscariot, do you know out of all the out of the original apostles, only one of them died of old age, I and mean, that was John, who wrote the book of Revelation. All the rest of them died for their faith. All of them. If you were an Old Testament prophet, and your leaders were wicked, you had a very short lifespan. So, but the thing is. When, when people have been taught that they're going to fly away in the pre trib rapture and it does not happen and they're going to have to die for the faith, how many people are going to deny Jesus as a false prophet? And there's a certain group in the Middle East that are going to tell you that, well, we've been telling you for 2,000 years that Jesus was a false Messiah. Come follow the real Messiah that we built a temple for. So, uh, and make sure to take his mark. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, the so-called Christians, they don't bother to read the Bible. They don't know what it says. It's like, uh, you know, my pastor will tell me what to say or what to, what to think and what to do. You know, if their pastor tells them to take the mark and the mark is not really the mark because, hey, after all, we're not going to be here. We're going to fly away in the pre trib rapture. They'll take the mark. They will take the mark. And then they can argue with the Lord. Well, you know, eternal security, once saved, always saved. I said a sinner's prayer 30 seconds and when I was 15 years old. 
Uh, when the pastor did the altar call, you can't throw me in hell, Lord. Just because I took the mark, thinking it wasn't the mark. After all, I took I said a sinner's prayer. Once saved, always saved. They're going to be in a world of hurt. And I've tried to warn people, but what can you do? So, I don't know, people. Get yourself a King James. Read it. Believe it. And, uh, you know, one day they're going to be illegal. You watch. You wait and see. Mark my words. So, um, but honestly, I think my time on this platform is about over. I really do. You know, I'm almost, I'm almost 70 years old. I mean, I, my body feels it, but you know, my, my mind, not so much, but, um, I'm just, uh, I don't know. I honestly think my time on social media is about over because there's nowhere to go. There really isn't. You know, I'm sick and tired of platforms saying, oh, we're free speech. Load all your stuff here. We'll, we won't, uh, we won't delete it. No, you won't delete it. You just don't uh, let anybody else see it. You know, I've, I've had a couple of them delete my whole channel. Even when you're paying for it, they, they uh, make it so nobody can see your stuff. Or they delete it. I, you know, it's just, I'm about done with it. So, and like I say, if you're interested in getting my all my materials, let me know. You know, let me know. Uh, go to my community page. My address is on there. Send me a 128 gig 3.1 usb or sd card and i'll load up everything i don't care and if you want to reload it to another platform i don't copyright anything so it's all to the glory of jesus so and don't ever follow me unless i'm leading you to jesus because i don't want anybody following me because i can stumble and fall and i've done it in the past and i can do it again so, you know, one thing I one thing I don't have is pride. That's one of the few things I'm I don't have because all I have to do is remember my past, and I I won't ever have pride. So, and uh, and that's about it, people. You know, all I know is the uh, our country and our people are under judgment. And if you read Luke 21, Mark 13, and Matthew 24, there's a time of trouble is coming. Big trouble. Big trouble. Almost no flesh is going to be saved. And I did Bible studies and all this stuff. So, honestly, I think you could listen to my Bible studies for eight hours a day. And it would probably take you three to four months to go through all my studies. Really. That's how many I've done. So, you know, and I'm not bragging. I would much rather do Bible studies than um, watch television. Much, much rather. So, uh, you know, I've been seriously sick. Uh, twice in the last couple two months uh, last month or so I can't believe this I mean I'm just like really so uh, yeah I think I'm getting too old to work a full-time job I really do so what can you do please pray for me people I I could use all your prayers trust me um, I'm just so disgusted with everything, but I, I honestly think my ministry time is over. I really do. Um, I used to feel the fire of the Lord doing some of these Bible studies. I don't feel it anymore. I, I just, I just don't. I mean, I can still put out a study. Um, I have a, a, enough Bible knowledge from all the studies I did in the past. 
uh, my studies, where I was studying for me, not doing Bible studies for you, you guys and gals. But um, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just don't feel it anymore. You know, things used to pop into my brain about a certain subject and then the verses would just flow and it's not there anymore. And I wonder, have I been disobedient? Or is it just the end for me to to quit? You know, it makes you wonder. But honestly, I, I think uh, they're going to crash the economy soon, I think. I don't know if I'll be alive to see it. Then there's going to be a world leader that's going to rise up to save save the world as they they claim and he's going to have supernatural powers or at least the false prophet will and all the world will wonder and worship after the beast or the antichrist or the man of sin son of perdition depending upon if you listen to paul or john or or what have you so it's going to be some interesting times, people. Jesus said, He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. And these people think all they had to do is a 30-second sinner's prayer and they can do anything they want. They're going to find out that may not be true. I don't claim to have all the right answers. I don't. I'm sure I'm wrong on some things, but... The difference between me and uh, uh, the so-called church pastors is I don't deceive people for mammon and money. I don't do it. You know, there's been a few of you that sent me some donations. Much appreciated. Um, but, you know, I don't beg for money. I do all right, I guess. You know, I could be homeless living under a bridge. I've been homeless before. Believe me, I have. Uh, one time I was working as a truck driver, just worked so many hours, and I, I did a video on, uh, not a video, an audio on Halloween Satanism the Occult, and I had it on a radio station. And just a couple of days after the show came on, uh, my back gave out. I don't know. I guess Satan attacked me, whatever. But uh, the company was self-insured. So they wouldn't give me workers' comp. They wouldn't give me short-term disability. They wouldn't give me nothing. Absolutely nothing. And you go a few couple of weeks without any pay, and next thing you know, you're I'm, I'm living in my uh, truck. Praise the Lord, I had a paid-for vehicle. In the middle of winter, and the uh, exhaust leaked <laughs> into the cab. So I couldn't even run the cab. I mean, I couldn't even run the engine to stay warm. Horrible. Luckily, well, blessed, had um, sleeping bags that I when I lived in Colorado. So I stayed warm even though it was cold. Man, it was cold. It was like, I think it was 17 degrees in Tennessee. And, um, you know... And the church that I move, uh, moved from Florida to be part of the church in Tennessee, you think anybody let me sleep in their living room on the couch? No. Nope. Nope. And because I tried to show them the pre-trib rapture was a lie, uh, no, I was a heretic. You know, this is the Christian love they show you. And believe me, I was uh, tithing to that church. So... Yeah. Oh, it's all, you, giving them money. It's, oh, we love your brother. Praise the Lord. Love your brother. And then when you don't have any more money and you need something from them, it's like you're a heretic. You know. So, yeah. You got to say the Lord showed me some things. Um, and they usually have to learn the hard way. Because I guess it has to be the hard way to get through this hard head of mine. So, 
uh, all right. All I know is people be prepared because uh, I don't know if you know what's going on in South Africa, but uh, look into what's going on with South Africa, with the uh, farmers, what's happening to the farmers and who's doing what to who. And if you don't know, you can always write me. You know, I'll explain it to you. I've got a video on it. If it's still up on this platform, I don't know if it is. But um, all I know is the same thing going on in South Africa is going to happen here in the United States and Europe. It's going to happen. Believe me. And um, I would strongly recommend that you cache some survival type equipment in a place outside of the city where you live. Learn about edible plants. I have information on all this kind of stuff. You know, you could always take a, uh, a large PVC pipe, you know, maybe a 10, 12 inch PVC pipe, uh, cap it off so that it's waterproof and put it somewhere. Um, a couple of the most important things you could ever have would be a, a good knife or two or three or four or five and a way to make start a uh, fire fire steel fire steel um, you know having a knife and a way to make a fire is a couple of the most important things you could buy a uh, water filter uh, what's the name of it Sawyer S-A-W-Y-E-R uses reverse osmosis type stuff um, it'll filter up to a hundred thousand gallons. I got videos on all this stuff, you know, learn about this. When the economy crashes and it's planned, believe me, you're not going to be able to depend upon the modern conveniences we have now. You know, you might want to put away some seeds, some fertilizer, um, uh, some food, have a place to go, safety for your family, protection. I was in the army. I know about protection. So, you know, even when I was a rebellious, stubborn teenager, uh, smoking pot and d dropping drugs and uh, being an absolute heathen, and I got in trouble and the... Um, the uh, attorney made a deal with my dad and said, hey, uh, you, your ki the kid can go to jail or he can go in the army. And uh, I thought about it. It's like, well, the army is like jail, but I get a paycheck every month. So why not? You know, better than going to jail. And, uh, you know, I look back. I should have overdosed a couple times. Um, car accidents I should have died in. The Lord was looking out for me even when I was nowhere looking for Him. I tell you, people, I... I uh, all I can say is Jesus said, No greater love hath man than this, that he lay his life down for his friends, and ye are my friends. That's the Bob paraphrase, but you get the idea. Jesus laid down his earthly life for us, his friends. And I, I wasn't looking for him, but he was looking for me. And if he can look for me, he can look for you too. All I know is pay attention in the coming years who is being hunted and killed, and you'll know who the true Lord's people are. It's going to become quite apparent. So, all I know is all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Amen.